Hey guys, we're back again with another video. So, three iPhone 4s, iPod Touch 4, A4 devices in a row video. This time we have these two bad boys again. I have the uh, 8 gigabyte iOS 6 iPhone 4 here and the downgraded Pluvia 5.1.1 iPhone 4. Now, the thing that I wanna talk about here is app. So you can see here, I'm trying to download the old version of Instagram. I know it will, I, I know it will not work, but I just wanna download it anyway. So when I press it, this keeps happening. It says this app is incompatible with this iPhone. So I keep doing that. I've tried to do the purchase tab because usually with through the purchase tab, it would just do fine on newer version of iOS. Okay, now you can see here this iOS 6, do the same thing. It shows the same pop-up. Now, I wanna show you guys how to fix this problem. So, okay, so here we go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna use this iPhone because I used the key create jailbreak. So yeah, you need to jailbreak your iPhone. Yeah, I might try to jailbreak this thing again because I don't jailbreak this phone. So there's that. So yeah, we have to jailbreak the phone. So the first thing you have to do, you're just gonna open up Syria. I just first stop opening this up. Look at that, user, hacker, developer. It's the Syria back in the days, man. Okay, click done. Okay, once city is loaded and updated, we're gonna go to search, package files, and just search iFile. iFile, there it is. Don't worry, you will not gotta pay anything. Okay, install. And confirm. Okay, once all of those installed, we're gonna go to return city, go to your home screen. But first, when you're trying to open up iFile with Wi Fi, it will crash or not yes it will crash so all you do just turn up your wi-fi turn that thing off okay now you're gonna go back to iFile and there you go everything will work now we'll go to far go back back again and then you see there system go to that folder system library close this guy scroll down till you see core services right there okay now you're gonna scroll down as you'll see, where is it? Springboard, there you go, springboard.app, tap on that. Now scroll down until you see your model. Now for me, which is this iPhone 4, 3.2 is, wait, 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 let me scroll down until the end. And, and, and there you go, it's n 690 n 690 Your Yours probably different. Just look near the end here, the plist files. Just take a look at that thing. Okay, now press it, text viewer. Okay, so once you're inside the plist, so remember the camera close here, you see right there, key capabilities, key dict. So what you do is just press it. Of course, you have to go to edit here, edit, and then you can edit it. Press the keyboard, hit intern, return, and make sure it's the same one as everything, like this. And you're gonna type in key, key like that with the open and then close it up. And then arm 64, arm 64, and then open column and slash key, key like that. Key, arm 64 key, and then close it up and then hit enter, space, 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 open it up true nope true slash and close it up and then hit save done now we have to respring the phone okay now we're good to go and unlock it and now let's try it out the app store okay now we can see here we can tap on the cloud and it should be working there we go and whenever, now we finally get this pop up now we can finally hit download and now we can finally install apps on older version of iOS. Okay, and there we go. We successfully now install applications, so for example, Spotify on iOS 6 and lower. Maybe it works with iOS 3, maybe, I don't know. I tried here with this iPod Touch 4 on 4.3.3. You can see there, Spotify works with this hack, and there you go. Sign in and your application works like normal. So. There we go, that's how you install apps with iOS 6 slower because Apple for some reason removed the capability for some applications. I mean, some apps do work. I mean, for example, on my iOS 5 here, some apps do download, but 
like that Spotify and Instagram start working for some reason, but that's the fix for it. So you guys can install your applications and consider using your old iOS. So thank you guys for watching this video and I catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.